Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael and welcome once again to the Tribble Time Warp. It is the 4th of May. The Breen is still invisible, the Vulcan's still fascinated by the wristwatch. But none of that matters because we're off to the Romulan campaign once again. I still want to know where my bridge officers are going here with Revan, but hey, who cares. There have been a few tweaks in the last patch, most notably you'll see here, ally of the Klingon Empire, the proper faction. Equally, if you do decide to ally with the Federation, I'm not going to comment, then you'll have ally of the United Federation of Planets, actually I think it may just be ally of the Federation, something like that, indicating your allegiance to the faction of root beer and happiness. Right, let's see what else. Oh yes, the bridge officers are still disappearing at random, so let's just quickly fix that. Stations... We'll turn that out and then put him back on and for some bizarre reason that does seem to fix it. You'll also notice that in the latest UI patch, the uh, colour scheme by the way isn't part of it, that's the Voyager colour scheme, I just decided I wanted a bit of a change, but we now have colours for the various icons and options. So as you can see, fire at will, attack patterns and the like, if it's tactical it's now red, Likewise, science gets blue and engineering gets gold. Captain stuff, generic captain stuff, gets a kind of orangey colour. Items have this kind of blue-yellow mix. Disruptors get a yellowy-green. Plasma gets a slightly brighter green. And well, you can see that we've now got various shinies. It just makes it a bit easier to spot individual parts, individual powers if you're just glancing at the array. Of course if you're used to the monochrome version that we've had for the last three years you may not care. However let's see where were we, oh yes Mark IV Dibernium Reinforced Body Armour, yes I think I will have that, thank you very very much. What else do we have, Quantum Mines, Aft, not really, Di ah Tritanium Hull Armour, well, I'm not sure what I've got in there at the moment. Mark II, yes, we're upgrading, why not? It's an 20, sorry, no, two and a half resistance. And we will leave the mines in the bin for the moment, literally. Because one annoying thing that's been irritating me for a while is that you don't get much in the way of cold hard cash on these missions at the moment. Whether Cryptic will tweak that or not, they've already done several passes on the tutorials. I do not know, but it's something that does need to be taken care of, particularly if they're going to have new players encouraged to muck around with things like customization at a thousand energy credits a time. Those of you who regard a million as a small change, I urge you to think back to your days as an ensign and stop laughing. However, we are moving on. Memory lane. Let's see what we have. Java. I know... I have seen Tal Shiar documents saying that Viranat was a prime site. Uh, huh. uh, of course. Right. Looks like we're going back to Viranat. Right. Well, I'm quite sure somebody was using Viranat for something nefarious, but somehow I don't think it was Datan. Right. Off we go, off we go. And of course there's no slipstream yet, and since the core is a budget model, we're only doing warp 5.56. God damn it, I've seen century old barrels go faster than this. Granted there was a sun involved, and it did pop a few rivets along the way. Alright, skills are those up to date? Yes, they are. Traits, do I have a not yet sub-commander? Commander, Commander sub-admiral, one vice-admiral. I will confess that I would still like to see the Riansu ranks used instead. Kreyov would at least fit a little better. Right, memory lane. Vernat was once a bread basketball for the Romulan Star Empire. Didn't have the infrastructure. Most of the refugees still soon left. So basically it was a glorified farming colony. Of course now it's a 
wreck of a glorified farming colony, but let's see what we got. It looks got. like we're not the only ones visiting. All this debris has attracted Nausicaan scavengers. Recommend that we clear the area of these pirates while searching. Uh, that's interesting. So that we've got some voiceovers going in. Right, cloak it up. Scan freighters. Okay, so we don't have to take the Norsicans out. Bunch of vultures, you're gonna do it anyway, let's be honest here. Right, line up. Oh, wait, yes, you are going to have to take the Norsicans out. It's just pretty thorough about it. Okay. Wait for the power levels to come back up. There we go. And wait for little Mr. Oblivious here to realise that we are right up his backside. Let him run out to a safe range. Gyro angle to zero. Power's lined up. Goodbye. No signs of weapons. Interestingly, not everything here has got a voice line active yet. Do 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 do. Siphon frigates. Ah, lovely. Same drill as before. Fortunately, they first nerfed and then unnerfed the cloaking devices, so it's back to the 20 second cooldown. Loop back. Target the lead frigate since that was going to blow in style. Back it up. And then just wait for this siphon to swing back in because. On second thoughts, I'm impatient. And three. Okay, so where's this next freighter gone? Ah, there we go. Do, 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 do. You'll also note that cloaking, sorry, singularity power now decays somewhat faster. They halved it a couple of patches back. It's now, I believe, a hundred seconds to completely decay. Yes, I'm sure he was a good man. What do you know about his first mate? And are you actually going to scan the ship? Yes, well, let's not get maudlin and keep moving on. Off we go. Next one. Ooh, it's a Talon. Let's see if this guy's going to be a challenge. Let's face it, he probably won't. Right, loop round. Dump the drives, and okay, about to lose angle on target from this. Very obliging of him to get stuck on the freighter though, at least I think he's stuck, it may just be a, yeah they are having some difficulty with its patrol path there, oh well. Okay, that... Is it me, or did that pop faster than the um, Destroyer Escort did earlier? Certainly popped with a bigger bang. Right, looty looty. Ooh, another disruptor bank. And an auxiliary battery. Right, what do we have? Options, options, options. Well, let's upgrade the bank. What do we get? Crit D versus accuracy. Ugh. Oh, on second thoughts, let's not. Not really worth the difference at the moment, and as I've said, Romulan characters, particularly at the beginning of the arc, need 
every last credit. I can't tell much, but I'm not just taking any weapons payloads. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Next. Alright. Hit the scan again. There we go. And back into cloak. Something I actually need to test on this one, however, is whether you can run an active scan on these freighters under cloak. I don't think you can. I just think it's rather suspicious that this one has got nothing acting as a watchdog. So, hey, at least it's going to be safe. Ha 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 ha. Incoming ambush. And, of course, it's decloaked as well. That makes sense. Decommissioned military ship, but even so, no trace of the weapons. There must be weapons somewhere. Hmm, yes, of course, it's going to be the fifth freighter, isn't it? Off we go and hit the cloak. Do, 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 do. Very pretty little micro nebula there. I wonder if that's going to turn into a plot element at some point. Right, scans a derelict, brace for ambush. This is the SS Stromnan, none of which were weapons. Usual on these ships, and I knew we wouldn't. I want to believe her, but she's not the person I know. She's tall, she are. Still. I am picking up some strange energy readings from the surface of the planet. Perhaps we should continue our search there. Yes, let's. Let's, um, vaporize the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Where are the Tull Prex when you need them? Ooh, new transporter background. Shiny, shiny, shiny. They have fixed the power displays. Although I have to note that they are actually displaying maximum powers for these three, despite the fact that uh, 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 no, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Bud, 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 bud. Those are space powers. And then it's displaying his... What's going on here? Because... Okay. Tachyon Harmonic. Dilavine. Those are ground powers. Science Team. Tractor Pulsers. Space powers. Okay. She's just displaying her rank 1 powers because I haven't promoted her yet. Again, ground, space, space, ground... Space, ground, ground, space. That's odd. Is it just displaying the four highest ranked powers? Or is there something else going here? I mean, it doesn't look like it's... Well, that could be reverse alphabetical order. But T, T, R, H. That's not in any kind of order at all. Likewise, there's too little data to work with here. Hmm. Oh, very odd. Um, I was wondering, what happens if you try switching them around? Let's bring Stoozy along, and then switch her back to Veril. Oh, now it's just broken. Um, okay, haha, <laughs> that was a mistake, wasn't it? Alright, well, no idea what I'm doing here, what the blaze is. Put Stoozy on the job here, and then give her Hyven. Again, it breaks. Perhaps if I put Hyven on this one and swap them. No, they've got no powers at all. Right, well, let's beam down before I give the rest of my crew lobotomies. Welcome back to Virinat. What a mess. Implicating your colony. I, I'm sorry, I thought it was your colony as well, Toven. We need to search the site. Da, 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 da. Well then, let's see what we've got. Dup, 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 dup. There's another group of people up ahead. Starfleet! Hello, you git. Right, I'm sure this is going to end diplomatically. And here you are. Of course. Well, that went well. Alright, let's see how many search teams we've got. No doubt if I was Federation aligned, I'd be taking out Klingon attempts at arrest as well. Mind you, I'm not sure the Klingons would bother with arrest, would they? Yes, yes it was. And now it isn't. And the bugs are back. Terrific. Right, which way? Let's go left to right. 
Yes, what were you planning? Would you say half a million dilithium would cover it? Because most captains have got that at the moment. That whole business with the entity. There we go. Do, 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 do. Kill it, I've destroyed it so they don't respawn. Hmm. They appear to be searching it. Oh, more Federation spies. In the back, it was only a pity he was awake. They've come to protect the weapon stash. Oh, lovely. So either the Talshiar are stirring the pot here. I'm sorry, stay dead. Thank you. Well, that was a very neat disintegration. Right, they were looking for us that Devex's lab was being used for biological weapons. Well, I suppose it's just being sent to the whole nature of dual purpose. Alright, check the bioscanner usage log. What have we got? 98.997. Well, that was progress. Right, what else do we have? Repair console. Ooh, it actually changes the displays. Right, what's the laser spec? Comps of the aquifers. That's misspelt, by the way. Aquifers, A Q U I F E R. The area was great for growing crops, but the water was depleted. Right. What else do we have over here? Repairs the console. Repairs the console, and the other console, and the giant rectangular thing. Metallurgical utility. Hmm. So basically wanted to make sure you didn't give everybody lead poisoning by accident. Well, that's a sensible move. Right, what else do we have? Another blip to the west. So far, no weapons. Hmm. It's not even going to be a good year for the ale, is it? Right. Let me just go over this. Nope! Alright, looks like these are pumping stations of some kind. We appear to have uh, invisible walls. Lovely. Um, duh, 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 duh. I suppose it's pretty much inevitable. They're trying to simulate a fairly large open environment here and they have to do so with an enclosed map, but yeah. Alright, one water wheel. Power, I would imagine. An over-engineered water pump. Alright, that's what they think. We have more Starfleet. Great. Hello, Ensign. Goodbye, Ensign. There we go. Short and sweet. Mm-hmm. For making nitrogen-based explosives. Hmm. Well... Theoretically speaking, I suppose if you had enough, um... High excrement, then you could perhaps have made a reasonable nitrogen-based explosive out of it. Let's face it, all you really need is, well... Carbon, sulfur and potassium nitrate. And a large bamboo log, some cord, a few rocks, and a seven foot tall homicidal lizard bearing down on you as motivation. But hey, let's see what we've got here. What's this? Examine how it uh, reminds me of better times. Random voicing again. Okay, so I could assume that this whole mission, everything is going to be voiced. Right. I always say it's going to be elements. He was in contact with Datan. Hmm. Oh, hello. Down you go. Thank you. Well. I 
I congratulate you on an ambush, sir. But, um... How did you four search this house and not find him? Ugh. Right, where next? Off to the east and it looks like we've got more... Starfleet in the way. And a Tribble! Ah, well, that validates the accusations of running biological weapons, doesn't it? Off we go, down you go. Pop, pop, popity pop. And quickly zap the hive while we're at it. Alright, two more to go, and it looks like this is a dead. Oh, no, no, it isn't. Beep, boop, beep. Right. Goodbye, Edson. Hmm. I thought that only happened if you managed to kill with an exposed exploit attack. I'm a little surprised that that was just random. Maybe it's just a random disintegration chance with enough overkill. Still. Oh, blast it. Yes, I know this is overkill. Full. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, for hypo. They were looking for power electricity usage. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Talshiel has been stirring the pot here. Okay, windmill power grid. This is the only remaining windmill. Do, 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 do. Yeah, fair enough. Which just leaves. We should take it with us as a reminder of home. Okay, that is a misaligned voice sample. What painting? Hmm. Oh, this looks interesting. Nothing inside of the allocation, we ship repairs. Yep. Okay, so that's fairly standard. Now we just have to eliminate this last search team. And yes, I'm shooting the medic first. What can I say? I'm practical. There we go. Right, so... Uh, were we supposed to get to them first or bef second? Relative to, um... Well, if nothing else, getting the actual work logs ourselves. Well, let's loot up quickly because, hey, early levels still broke, still scavenging left, right and centre. Field rations and a full auto battle rifle. Well, that works for a bit, so let's just give her the phaser. Not much of an upgrade, but there you go. And you can have... Ooh, why not double pistols? Seems like his kind of weapon, honestly. Speaking of which, I think I will upgrade as well. Double pistols, because hey, why not? Right, Turin, what do we think? And where were these strange energy signatures? They were going to rendezvous at a location up ahead. Well, let's go check it out. No doubt we're going to run into a Starfleet captain up here. And then no doubt we're going to have to kill him. Or her. Quite possibly her. I mean, let's face it. If they're going to be diplomatic about these things. Romulan captain, eh? Ensign engineering officer. Why is he... Starfleet Ensign. Romulan Cap. Oh, of course, this is a Romulan who's allied himself with the Federation. I'm guessing if I reran this as Federation aligned, this these guys would be Klingons. But hey, it's talking time. So you're the terrorist. Alright, well, let's hope we can talk ourselves out of this. Mm hmm. 
and in the absence of evidence. Oh, for heaven's sake, and I thought Vulcans could be stubborn. Well, you're going down. go dead dead gone hmm does not appear to have fallen over that is a little disturbing thank you are you dead yet no there we go right now are you going to be reasonable and he should have an information icon above his head right oh good now he's reasonable fine I think we only killed most of your crew in the process Hmm. Indeed. Right, so yeah, it was a blast. There was an interact back there for mix. And yay, proper transporter effect. Woohoo, right. Yes, I'm sure that they will. world will be avenged. Male voice for a female captain? Hmm. Oh well. What have we got? One Dodex and a couple of light warbirds. Well, let's see what happens. One, two, three, Repairing. Oh, that's a nice touch. Now, can we heal them, I wonder? I assume that's just a quick way of making them invincible without having to overly break the game's continuity. Alright. Okay. Evasive into range. And pop the shot wave. Bang and bang, or rather, um, oh, yeah, definitely bang. Okay, well, Captain, sorry, Commander Mavic, I'm sure he's just one million captain there, that could be tied up. Sorry, Commander Makus shows how much of an impression he made. Bad dump, yeah, that's definitely faction specific. Right, so they're gone, and it's Shava's vessel. Hello there, you treacherous little worm. Right, does this end with disruptors? I imagine it does. Right, I'm guessing we're missing a page from the dialogue here. The whole, um, yes, you set us up, and it turns out that your bosses were setting you up as well. Why would I? I want to say that's where I'm still going to be. No, nobody. It's very simple, Shava, you idiot. You were set up by the Tal Shiar to feed us the information in good faith. Ye gods. How does anyone that naive get to command a starship? Alright. Engage! Please let this be a proper warp flash. Nope, it was Klingon and at the wrong camera angle as well. Yeah. Don't remember seeing that happen on holiday before. Anyhow, Sub Commander. 
Let's see how well this wild goose chase went. Good, she's not surprised. We're not using them to fight a war. Continue to humor Shava. And repulsion shield. I've seen that on Star Starfleet mission, but I can't place it. Science console and random option for a commission. All right, well, let's grab another engineer because that's what we're short of. And that, I think, shall be that for the moment. I'm still getting random inventory full hours. I do not know why. No clues at all. But hopefully we will resolve that at some point. For the moment, however, Anitra can stick on the roster for a bit. And I will see you at the next Tribble Time Warp. Farewell.